Just as Bill English and John Key were moving to shut down the Kiwi Bank controversy, Three News has received more recordings which suggest National has a hidden agenda. We'll have full coverage in a moment of English's admission that he didn't choose his words well when discussing the possible future sale of Kiwi Bank. But first, the new and damaging secret recordings involving senior National MP Lockwood Smith, and obtained by Three News political editor Duncan Garner. Duncan now joins us live from Parliament to talk us through it. Duncan. Good evening, Michael. Three News has been in contact today with this person who made the secret recordings of Bill English at this cocktail function on Friday night. Now, what we have obtained is further secret recordings of uh, Dr Lockwood Smith as he was speaking to delegates. Now, the conversation I'm about to play you just reeks of National having some kind of hidden or secret agenda. Remember, this all took place on Friday night as Lockwood Smith spoke to delegates at the National Party conference here in Wellington at the weekend. Just have a listen to what Lockwood Smith has to say. There's some bloody uh, dead fish have to swallow. Yeah, it's about to get the government to do the kinds of things you want to do. And, uh, and you've got to balance up what really matters. And try to do everything differently. And you scare the horses. And you, you cannot. Well, under MMP, it's very hard to win. But you've gained the confidence of the people. And you've got more chance to win. And Lockwood Smith goes on to talk about, in the next uh, quote I'm going to play you about, doing things in government that you can't talk about before the election. This one, I believe, is the most crucial one. Again, have a listen. We may be able, we may be able with some things we believe we need to do, we to go through a discussion about the process. You know, we wouldn't be able to do them straight off. I'm hoping we'll be able to do some useful things that way, where they may not be policy right now. So certainly extraordinary stuff there from Lockwood Smith, and I've spoken to John Key just a few minutes ago. He doesn't believe there's actually anything sinister in what Lockwood Smith is saying, but he does say, look, he's going to camp. What he campaigns on during the election campaign will be what National does in government, and there will be no secret agenda. But certainly those comments from Lockwood Smith are, are, are certainly very unhelpful and do not help by John Key's argument. Helen Clark has told us by phone a few minutes ago that she believes it's a, it's a turning point, these types of comments from Lockwood Smith, and does prove that there is some kind of hidden agenda. But look... National has spent the day today defending itself on the, on the, on the Bill English uh, comments, the secret recordings from Friday night, where he said that eventually he'd like to see a, the Kiwi Bank sold. Now, John Key and Bill English have been at pains today to say, look, it won't be sold, and it was Bill English who, in fact, made the biggest mere culpa today. As John Key and Bill English walked to face the music, the smiles masked the mess, and it was soon clear English was facing a humiliating lesson in eating humble pie. I did not choose my words well. English was secretly recorded telling delegates at his party's weekend conference that National would eventually sell Kiwi Bank. Today he retracted. With respect to Kiwi Bank, I shouldn't have made the comments I made. National has had no discussions about Kiwi Bank and has no plans to sell it. But an eventual sale was very much English's private view just three days ago and perhaps he was caught out telling the truth but he's putting it down to loose language. That's not my view, uh, it's not my private view, uh, and I simply, I used loose language, I made a statement I shouldn't have made. Mr English could have chosen his words better, and he will do so in the future. National's policy is not to sell state assets in its first term, and today Key seemed to write new policy on the hoof, indicating Kiwi Bank will never come up for sale. He did so repeatedly. Well, I don't think Kiwi Bank will be sold. Uh, I don't see any rational reason for selling Kiwi Bank, and I don't think it will be sold. Yet. I just don't see any circumstances under which it'll be sold. In the secret recording, English also suggested his leader didn't understand the government's Working for Families programme. English claims he was simply misunderstood. Comments I made regarding the complexity of Working for Families have been construed as a criticism of John Key. That is wrong. But it did undermine Key, and it was uncomplimentary. But Key agrees the program is complex. Well, it's, it's highly complicated. The secret recordings are a sign this campaign is turning nasty, but Key is making no excuses. It doesn't excuse us. We're on the record 24-7, and we've just got to accept that and accept this is going to be a pretty robust election campaign. So perhaps Key showed himself to have some leadership ability today. His deputy had to do the mere culpa, Key knowing there was a little other option. So John Key, I think, as leader, did the right thing in trying to shut this down today. But these latest recordings that we've played of Lockwood Smith certainly put new and, and quite immense pressure, I think, on the National Party to once again explain, and John Key will have to explain tomorrow. So it is my view these are, these are damaging sort of comments from Lockwood Smith and do nothing to help the National Party as they search for an election victory. Mike. Duncan, thank you.